What's going on, Sap fam? Hope everybody's doing all right, man. Hope everybody's hanging in there. This garbage year is almost over with. But that ain't what I wanted to talk about today with my hood. I've been noticing posts. I don't come in here that much anymore, but I've been noticing posts that disturb me, that really disturb me about some of us, you know, some of the people from my neighborhood that I didn't, you know, realize or things that I didn't realize that was going on. Um, I forget her name. I think I've seen her around the neighborhood a couple of times. And um, I seen where she came on and posted about being sexually assaulted when she was young. That's that's hard for me to take because I have three daughters and I got a bunch of nieces and I got a bunch of little girl cousins and I got a bunch of young female <clears throat> companions or friends or whatever that I'm close to, you know what I'm saying? So when I hear that these young girls have been sexually assaulted by somebody from my neighborhood, by somebody that they are supposed to, supposed, supposed to know and trust, that sickens me, man. I'm, I'm for real. That, that sickens me to death because look at it like this. Look at it this way, and I'm going to address it. I'm going to get a little bit heated. Look at it like this right here. You're having sex with somebody's child that is probably the same age as your son or daughter. Really? Really? And if you're out there, and if you're listening to this to this recording. You're an effing coward. You're an F-K-N coward. Who does that? Sleeps with someone's child. Granted, there may be some times when these kids act like adults, but that doesn't give you the right to sleep with them like they are adults. Sick. Sickening. I, my heart goes out to these young ladies that has done that. My heart goes all the way out for them because no child should have to endure that. She should be protected. She should be honored. You as an adult from the same neighborhood should be looking out on it. You just sitting there like a bird of F and prey waiting for this little girl. I'm sick, man. I'm sick. I'm serious. It's nasty. It's sick, bro. And whoever you are, you can say zero to me the rest of your life. There's nothing you can say to justify it. There's nothing you can say to me to make me understand why you did it. People that do that. I don't care who you are. People that do that are afraid of a real challenge. You're afraid to step to a grown woman. Man, I, I, I'm at a loss for words with this. So, I'm not a, a, a on behalf of these on be, on behalf of these girls, young ladies, whoever, what happened. I apologize. 
that this happened to you. But dudes, whoever you are, please, I don't care if you were on fire, I probably would not piss on you. This is nasty, bro. Little girls are supposed to trust you. You let that happen to one of my daughters or one of my nieces or one of my little cousins or somebody that I care a lot about. Matter of fact, you let that happen in my presence. I'm going to beat you until I get tired. And chances are I probably just woke up. So I'm not going to be tired. Ladies, I'm sorry again that this happened to you all. But you dudes, you effing cowards from my neighborhood claiming my hood. Find it in your heart somewhere to apologize to these young ladies. Find it in your heart somewhere to be a grown man that you say you are. The grown man that you say you are. Find it in your heart to be that grown man. I'm done.